What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. This will be the first video I'll be making in this series. The series will be about 5M, creating a server, creating scripts, adding scripts, adding resources, and anything else you can think of. If you have any suggestions or want to see how to install a certain resource, be sure to leave that in the comments and I'll be sure to make a video about this. But in this video, we will be creating your very own server on your computer that later on you possibly could open up for your friends to join. To do the server, we will follow this simple guide given on the 5m.net docs called setting up a server. We will be kind of following this step by step. I'll be reading the installation instructions, kind of skipping over some, but let's get right into it. The first thing you need to do is install Visual C++ right here. You simply click this, it'll download your installation and install that. You may have to reinstall your computer. Uh, not reinstall, I'm sorry, restart your computer. It's perfectly fine. I'm not going to install it because it's already on my computer. So I'm going to skip that step. You can pause this video and come back once you have that installed and restarted. It says right here, make sure you get git. We will not be needing this. It would looks like this. You would download the 64-bit or the 32-bit version, depending on what you have. But we will not be needing this, seeming we will not be using this. I will be showing you how to do it the manual way. So let's look at some of these instructions. First, it says create a directory for your binaries. Download the current, bi the latest binaries. Extract them download the server data into another folder. So the first thing I wanted you to do is click artifact server. Once you click that, you just hit latest recommended download. Once you have that, it will download a zip file, put that on your desktop for later. Then I want you to click server data. data. This will bring you to this screen. Hit code, download zip, and put it on your screen once it's downloaded. Once we got to that step, we're going to go to our desktop and here will be the two files you downloaded. Is server.zip. When we open up, it's got files inside it, our array, and our server data master folder. So now to get setting up, go to your computer and you can put this on any drive you want. I recommend putting it on your fastest drive or your home drive, which usually is your C drive. Inside here, just create a folder. You can name it anything, whatever you want to call it. And if you want to call it server folder or anything, it does not matter. I will be naming it YouTube server. And I'm going to open it up. Inside here, we want to create two additional folders. One named server and another one named server data. Again, it does not matter. You can change these to whatever you want. I recommend leaving it like this so you don't get confused. So the first thing we're going to do is our server.zip. We're going to open that up. Close out this little pop-up. Everything inside this folder will go into your server folder. So we highlight everything and just drag and drop it inside the server. Let WinRAR do its thing. Once that's complete, you can close it out. If done correctly, going into your server folder, you will have all of this you done that, congratulations, let's move to the next step. Now we go to our server data folder. Right here, our data server, server data master. Open that up, and you guessed it correctly. All of this content right here, these three, will go on to our server data. So again, drag and drop inside server data. Once complete, you can close this out. These files are no longer needed, and you can delete them, you can save them. It does not matter. We now have two folders in here that are the basics of our 5M server. Next, what we need to do is create some extra files to actually get it loaded up and working. So we're going to go into our server data folder, and inside here we need to create a CFG file. Before you can create that, you have to make sure that when you come over here, you hit this drop down, go to view, and make sure you have file name extensions enabled. This must be shown for you to be able to do this next step. You're going to create two new files. You go to new, it has to be a text document. 
highlight everything, including the .txt, name this server.cfg, hit enter. This should pop up saying, are you sure you want to do this? Hit yes. We will create one more called starter start dot b a t hit okay and yes in the server cfg folder we will be this will be used to declare functions for the server how to connect to the server permissions all this other things will be declared inside here and our start dot bad will be using to start the server if you hit this right now it won't be doing anything because we're not declaring anything inside it so now that we're here we're going to go back to the website and we're going to scroll all the way down and I got our an example server that's CFG. Just highlight everything. Copy it. Open up your server that's CFG. And go ahead and paste that in there. Uh, you like using Visual Studio Code. You can use anything. You can use Notepad, Notepad++. It really does not matter. So a quick overview in here. You don't... This section right here is where you'll be typing in resources later on. Here you can change the language. I would just leave it root. It gives you examples of everything as well and tells you what to do. Here you can set your server name. We're just gonna name it YouTube Test Server. You can name it whatever you'd like. You can it shows right here how to load up images. Here's some admin rights. But none none of that really matters. This will be all covered in a later video. The only thing we need to worry about is right here, the license key. You have to have a license key for this to work. So simply go ahead and go to this website, keymaster.5m.net. This link will be in the description as well. And once gone to this website, you just sign in, create account, whatever you have to do. <coughs> I already have a test server in here. I'm going to ignore this and I'll create an, an extra one. Before you can do this, we have to find out our IP address. The easiest way to do this is you go to Google. And in Google, you just type in, what is my IP? This right here is not what you're using. Mine will be blurred out. Well, actually, it doesn't matter because it's my public IP. What you're looking for is this very first link. What is my IP address .com? Click on this. This will show your at home IP address. The screen should look just like this and here will be your IPv address, your IP address. Mine will be hidden from the screen but just copy yours and save it for now which we'll be needing it. Hit register. Label is just whatever you're calling it so we're gonna call it YouTube test server. Where it says serve IP, this is where you paste that IP address you just found on our website, which is for your computer. Server type, we're going to hit other and type in localhost because we're using it just for us on our own computer. If you are opening up later on, you should still be able to use the same setup unless you change IP addresses with a provider, whatever the case may be, but this should work all the time. And I'm not a robot. Generate. I do have a few things blurred out here. That is simply because it's personal information that you that I want to show to the internet. But once you hit generate, it brings you to this screen. Your key right here. You're just gonna copy that key. Go back to your server.cfg, and go ahead and paste that where it says change me. Save your folder, and exit it. Now the next thing we'll be doing is editing our start.bat which is the last thing we have to do to actually start our server so go ahead right click and hit edit so what we need to do is we need to for one we need to start our server folder which is all right in here not our server folder we have to come in here because we have our start button in here we have to start use that and then we also have to load data from in here so all we're going to do is we're going to come right here and we're going to hit up in here in that search bar or in this uh, directory and copy that URL. Not that URL, but that address. We're going to come in here and type CD, which is pretty much declaring the directory we're calling. And we're going to 
paste that link that is going to tell this start.bad to go ahead and open this folder and load everything inside it, which would be the resource folder. Next, we're going to go ahead and paste that same link again. But this time, we're going to go ahead and when we come back over here, we need the server folder. You could copy and paste this, but you can just go ahead and come over here and delete this. Now, what we want to do in here is we want to call this fx server.exe. So we're just going to come over here. Once we're in the folder, we're going to hit slash fx server.exe. So now we will be able to start our server, call our resources, but we still have to use this server.cfg because that declares values for our server. So the way to do that, we simply go ahead and hit our plus and type in exec, which pretty much mean, just means execute, and type in server.cfg. And the reason we don't have to declare a new file destination for this is because we already called it right here. And then we're just saying, go ahead and also add that inside it. So we can go ahead and save that and close out. You have now completed your first server, the steps of creating your first server. If you now hit start.bad, it should go ahead and load up and it's going to go ahead and install a couple of things. Just let it do its thing. This will shouldn't take more than a minute at the very most. So we're just going to patiently wait and let us do its thing. While it is doing its thing, though, you could leave a thumbs up, subscribe for future content if you like this one, and also leave a comment on how I did and on what you would like to see next. It is always greatly appreciated. And I definitely can't wait for to see you guys in the future videos. videos. But as you can see now, we're completely done. So we're going to go ahead and close this back out. Hit start.bat again. Make sure it loads up again. This should be a lot faster now. Once we get to this section here where it's all red, good job, your server's up. We're going to keep this open for a second. Start our 5M just to make sure we can properly connect to it. <coughs> so in here, one thing you want to do is go to your settings. Scroll down, sorry about the music, 5M does that, and hit enable localhost menu, just like this. Leave everything alone, go back to your screen, hit play, and you're going to have this little computer up here, it says localhost. Go ahead and click that, it will automatically connect you to your server, whatever is on your localhost. You can see right here, the German connecting. This should be a very quick startup, because... There's not much on the server. It's just a base load. So it's just going to do its little thing. And there we go. You're in your very first server. This is your very own. You can add scripts, play yourself, and later on invite friends to play with you. Let me know how everything went for you guys. If you ran into any issues, please let me know. I'll be glad to help you out as best as I can. You can always join my Discord, which will be in the description. And ask me questions there. You can also go ahead and add my server discord i'm very active inside that our server is new and growing and a lot of great things always inside it again thanks for stopping by i hope this tutorial helped and we will see you in the next video see you later